What's going on YouTube? JT is your born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about DC versus Vampires All Out War, issue number two of six of this limited series, written, of course, by Matthew Rosenberg and Alex uh, Pacnadel. Uh, this one takes place kind of in a different state of, well, I mean, it's all in the same continuity, but in essence, uh, after the previous issue where that secret underground base was kind of destroyed uh the remaining uh characters left are trying to find a way to get to access to the lazarus pits with john constantine and destro kind of leading the charge and they go into the company of talia al ghul to find where it's at now talia is there she's also kind of working with alfred has her own group of people there so i always kind of i thought that was kind of an interesting like crossover wonder woman shows up and basically all hell kind of breaks loose here so they're trying to find the lazarus pits john constantine's trying to think which plan is going to work best and things kind of go south pretty quickly you got mary marvel in there you got deathstroke and you got various other characters and i gotta admit my main issue with this all-out war thing is the colors yeah the black and white and sometimes the red stylistically can look cool at times but it makes it really hard to dictate who is who which i don't understand why you can't just have somebody color in the rest of the issue this isn't manga this is a, a comic in the united states sometimes it's cool to have that aesthetic look to it but at the same time it's like it's hard for me to tell who is who with this uh the way things are kind of shaded in and colored it would have been much easier to distinguish various different characters if you colored the whole thing so yeah there's that john constantine almost gets killed by wonder woman he's kind of saved towards the end of it and they have sort of a plan going on there basically to they want to utilize what weather wizard at some point because he's kind of controlling the weather a little bit to allow a little bit of sunlight to kind of grow a food source for the the, the human blood banks uh, it sets up the next issue with, uh, I think that's Shazam and Superman. It's it's hard to tell sometimes with the uh, the artwork, and they're trying to figure out a way to kind of stop this whole thing. So there's that, where, that and then in the backup storyline called Nightwing in Dark Birth Part 1, words by Emma Vasile, uh, basically, like I said, it's also black and white, but the art looks a little bit stronger, I think, this time around. Um, telling the story of how Dick Grayson, I guess, is going to become the Vampire King. So we got a sister right there. Uh, Melinda Zuko, which you know based on the Nightwing book. So I, and then he's also got Bitewing there as well. Uh, basically, there's all these vampires in like these secret areas of Bloodhaven, and they're going to have to find a means to kind of stop them. Dick's kind of brought into this whole storyline, and that. So yeah, it's, there's there's something going on here, and we're going to kind of get into the origins of how he became the Vampire King. So as you can see here, he's still a good guy at this point. So something happened that corrupted Dick Grayson, and that to me is going to be one of the more interesting stories because Dick Grayson. He's a very hopeful character. He's, he's, he's a genuinely a really good guy when it comes to the DC universe. And I'm intrigued to see how he inevitably fell into darkness and became the Vampire King. Now, I still am also wondering how Damien's like the only character who became a vampire who wasn't able to like turn to that dark side. He kind of became Blade. But like, why did somebody like Dick Grayson uh, turn when another character didn't? So that to me is still very interesting. I'm hoping they'll give an explanation as to how that works. And I'm very excited to see how he became the Vampire King. I feel like this is some much needed context and information to kind of make the story more interesting and perhaps add to some of the tragedy. Perhaps maybe even he can still be saved given even though he's done terrible things, he wasn't always this person. So something has corrupted him and maybe we'll find the answer to that. Maybe somebody can save him by the end of this thing. If not, then he at least makes for an interesting villain. Yeah, I know uh, people are probably upset about that because it's Dick Grayson as the villain, but this is an Elseworld storyline. And you know what? Let, let's see him play a villain in an Elseworld storyline. I think I'm okay with that. It's not like it's the main universe and his entire character has been destroyed beyond repair. This is an alternate universe so but overall consensus i didn't do dc versus vampires i like seeing talia's role in this i like seeing constantine constantine these crisis type uh level events is always really fun just to see how he has to kind of use his quick-witted skills to kind of outthink things and all the different plans and strategies he has i always like utilizing constantine in that area i think he's been uh done pretty well in that regard so that's fun uh the only complaint really for me is the black and white and then sometimes red color rise art the art itself is fine it's just why can't you just color it in i think it would have been a much better looking issue and i could have distinguished characters a little bit better had you colored it in 
I, I get they're going for like a, a different style and tone, but just just color it in. Come on, I mean you got all you got some of the best colorists in the world at DC Comics. You can't just color in the rest of this book. Do I have to get a crayon out and just color this thing in digitally or something? That's my minor complaint right there. But anyways, if you have any thoughts on the issue, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications. And uh, that's going to wrap it up for right now. Uh, come back later on today. I got one other comic book review, which is going to be something a little bit different than uh, the DC stuff here. But uh, look forward to that. All right, well, that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.